everybody, it's Ann Kaplan from Mom Me, your mama resource from conception to college. Wherever you are in your mothering journey, we're here to support you. And this week is travel week. And guess what, you guys? I am broadcasting to you from the hotel that I'm staying at without my kids, where I am doing a program called The Big Shift that's all about making my business amazing. So get ready for me to be even more awesome. And I want to talk to you guys today about traveling when you're pregnant and traveling when you have that new baby. It is such a pain in the butt, right? Wrong. It's not that big of a deal, okay? Let's talk about pregnancy first. Here are my tips for you guys when you're traveling when you're pregnant. You feel like a big whale. You can't sit down. You probably already have GI issues, so traveling, hello, that works on all of us. I don't know about you guys, but it usually takes about three days to poop after I travel. We don't want that to happen for you mamas. So let's talk about what you can do about it. Number one, my biggest tips for you guys, indulge in making your life easier, okay? This is not the time of your life to say, oh, I'm gonna go camping, but I don't want an air mattress. I'm just gonna rough it. It's okay, get yourself the air mattress. You're growing a human, okay? If you can afford to upgrade when you're traveling um, in a plane, do it. Why would you deny yourself, okay? Or how about this? You're going on a really long car trip and usually you just power through the night. Don't do that. Indulge, let yourself stay in a hotel overnight. Relax, it's okay. You're growing a new person inside you. Take care of yourself, okay? That's tip one, indulge and let yourself have the little comforts that are gonna make your trip a little bit more comfortable, okay? And whether you're traveling on a plane or in a car or whatever, do not sit for too long, okay? Get up, move around, stand at the back of the plane. If the stewardess gives you, oh, sorry, not supposed to say stewardess anymore. The flight attendant tells you that you have to move, just say, I'm pregnant back off, okay? Stand in the back of the plane, walk in the back of the plane, get out of your car, go for a little walk. My kids and I like to stop when we're on road trips and they ask me to make them um, an obstacle course. They have to like run around a tree and then go over here and hop on a table. You can do that for yourself. Don't hop on a table though if you're pregnant. And the last thing I wanna tell you is just keep it loose. Give yourself time to rest. Have a light schedule. All of those things when you're traveling when you're pregnant. Which brings me to what do you want to do when you're traveling with a new baby? Because, hello, you still need to keep it light. You still need to keep it loose. I talked about all that stuff on Tuesday. All of those mama tips, whether you have a newborn or an older kid. But today, what I really want to focus on is that new baby thing. And my biggest, most helpful tip for you guys when it comes to this is... Don't take too much stuff, you guys. You don't need the stuff. The stuff is the thing that makes you think that everything's gonna be okay, but it's actually the thing that makes your trip super miserable. Don't bring a stroller. I actually just said that. Do not bring a stroller, okay? Strap that baby to you. You're gonna be so much happier. You don't have to put anything. You don't have to fold it up and shove it through that stupid conveyor belt thing. You don't have to stand there and wait for it to be gate checked and then wait again for you to get it back. Like, forget the stroller, okay? And if you think that you need a ton of gear, don't bring it with you. Call ahead to the place you're going and see if they have rental places because a ton of places do have that. Denver has one actually. So call ahead, rent a pack and play, rent a stroller, rent a car seat if you need it. Or if you're going to visit family, like especially if it's your mom or something and you know you're gonna come visit her often, ask her to buy her own, like use whatever that you can just keep there at her place, okay? Same thing with diapers, just buy them there. Like all of those things, like the less you bring, the better. Less is more. That is the, the biggest tip when it comes to traveling with a baby. You don't need all of that gear. And the last thing I would say is if you're just trying to think of like what's a good trip to go on with a baby, I want to get out of Dodge, I want to go on a vacation but I actually want to enjoy myself, hands down beach. Beach, beach, beach every time. Especially if you have a baby. They're not going to run off into the water. They're just going to, I promise you, they are going to sit on the ground and play with sand the whole time. They'll eat sand. They'll poop sand later. It's all fun. But like a beach vacation is the best vacation for little kids and babies because they're perfectly well entertained. You can literally actually just sit on your butt and drink a Mai Tai and it's totally cool. Like literally cannot think of a vacation that's going to be more relaxing than that. I really hope that's helpful for you guys when it comes to babies and pregnancy. It's not as hard as you think. You can totally do it. Allie Chung is watching me right now. Hi Allie! I love you. You're my biggest fan. And um, tomorrow I'm going to be talking about something that I wasn't planning on talking about this week, but you guys asked for it, and that is what do you do when you're traveling with family and they just don't get the stuff that's really important to you about momming? Oh, it's okay. Just skip nap. We all want to go to the zoo. Oh, who cares if you don't usually feed your baby dairy? Look how cute he is when he eats cheese. Or, oh look, he's having his first lollipop. 
What do you do when it's your family that's making your travel situation hard? We're going to talk about that tomorrow. I love you guys so much. I'm learning, learning, learning here. I'm in California now, so I'm actually broadcasting at a time that makes sense for people to watch. And I can't wait to talk to you guys again tomorrow. Bye.